All right, uh, welcome to uh, some defer with me, with Alex Brignoni. And today I want to be talking a little bit about uh, some capabilities that we recently added to, to ILE, well, specifically one, which is be able to parse uh, iTunes backups, right? So how do you go about doing that? Well, um, the first thing uh, that we need to have is an iTunes backup, right? So I have here a little bit of a demo for you. All right, you'll see here I have an, an iTunes backup here, uh, the typical, you know, um, kind of long numeric identifier here. And uh, this backup is it's encrypted. So first, I'm gonna unzip the backup, All right? And here's the backup in the way we expect to see it, right? It's encrypted. You can check the flags here on the different uh, files, but just to make it real quick, real easy. Um, let me show you this real quick. You'll see that it's encrypted, right? So how do we go about encrypt, uh, unencrypting it? Because iLeap can only process uh, unencrypted backups. So my good friend, let me just open here his, his uh, script here, Jack Farley. He's awesome. And I'll give you some, um, some of the links on the description for his GitHub and his uh, Twitter and all his, his, and his uh, blog is fantastic has a thing called uh, iTunes Backup Reader. And it does a lot of things for you. And one of the things that it does is, is on, it decrypts the backup of you providing a password. So that's a necessity, right? This is not a, a kind of like a cracking tool. This is just a, a decrypting tool. So having that password, you can decrypt that password, right? So how, how you wanna do it? So if we look here at the help real quickly, uh -huh. minus H. Right, what you need to put is the input directory. So where the uh, the uh, encrypted iTunes backup folder is, the output where you want it to go. And then you wanna make sure you put D for decryption and P for password. And if I'm not mistaken, it also requires the type, which I use, let me see here. Yeah, output type, I put DB, but it doesn't affect uh, the result. All right, so let's do it. So we're gonna call the, uh, call the script. All right, and let's put the, uh, the input. So the input is gonna be our folder here that we just unzipped. Let's drop it here, fantastic. And then the output, I have a folder called output here as well, drop it in. And then I said we're gonna do uh, decrypt, so minus D, we're gonna, we need the password. Um, this images, this backup specifically that we have is provided by, uh, uh, Josh Hickman, he has fantastic uh, test uh, images that you can use. And I will also put his Twitter and his blog and his and the link for his images in the description of the video. And then minus, uh, I think T for type and let's put DB, All right? Let's see if I, just, if I did this correctly. So let's hit enter. All right, starting decryption of the manifest.db. And this is, this is all really interesting. Maybe I'll do a video on how iTunes backup works um, and it's successfully decrypted, okay? So that's pretty much it, per fairly easy. Let's close this out and let's look at, uh, well, is it done done? Yeah, no, it's still going, my bad. <laughs> there we go, now it's done. Yeah, if, 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 if you don't get your prompt back, please do not close the terminal uh, session. <laughs> Make sure you get your, your, uh, your terminal back. Okay, all right, so we got, we got everything that we need. So now we can close it. And uh, you'll see here our, our device, decrypted backup, and we're gonna open it under the backup folder. It's exactly what we expect to find, uh, but in this case, the data is decrypted. So incredible work here. So let's open the manifest of the decrypted one. And in this case, you can see that, uh, yeah, you can actually see what's in it because it's decrypted. Okay, so we're in good shape. So that's where iLeap comes in. So we have an, an iTunes backup that's been decrypted or not encrypted from the get-go, and I'm gonna we're gonna parse it to triage it with triage it with iLeap. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna run it. So here we go, and uh, we're just gonna call the uh, go to the uh, folder where the stuff is. All right, so iPhone backup. Oh, not wrong one here. Um, I need to go to this one here. Oh, this is another thing. <laughs> okay, so we got our folder here. This is the encrypted one, but we want the decrypted one. So we're gonna go to output go to device and go to backup, right? When you pick that folder, make sure that that folder has 
the info plist and the manifest plist, these files need to be there. So that's how iLib knows that it needs to be processed as a backup. Okay, so we got that. And I'm gonna use the same output folder that we're using because why not? So we can have it all in one place. So it's gonna put it here in the output folder. And as you know, if you use uh, iLib before, it will create a report folder within that structure. I'm gonna leave all the, uh, all the plugins now. Before I hit process, be aware, uh, as of today, uh, September what? September 24th, 2020, these artifacts are all pretty much designed for a file system extraction. So a lot of them, um, they're just not gonna run on a Nitrons backup. But um, moving forward, since we can now parse, I'll be adding more capabilities to it. Let me hit process. I will be adding more capability to it. So it's really uh, targets uh, artifacts in within iTunes backups and if you want to contribute to that effort please do so we're gonna hit okay here to look at our report we're gonna pull it up and uh, there you go so this is some of the stuff that it picks up I want to really um, showcase here the iTunes backup information pulling data from the info.p list and super useful stuff device name install application list really useful and then here on the left you know your call logs and your account data, different accounts. So um, it, it's still full, uh, it pulls out um, a few things, really useful things, and you can use it to triage, you know, how the screens looked. I discussed this in another video. So, and there you have it. Um, we'll be adding more iTunes backup specific artifacts. And again, if you want to contribute, please, uh, please do so. Send me some pull requests in GitHub. And, uh, and uh, we'll, go, uh, we'll go through it and, and add them, right? Um, and with that, well, thank you uh, so much.